Hey, I'm Jacob Soberow for NPR Weekend Soapbox, coming to you from Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles. It's Easter Sunday, and it's about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I'm here to meet Father Maurice Chase, the former assistant to the president of Loyola Marymount University, who for 24 years now has been coming down to Skid Row every Sunday and on other special occasions to give out free money to the people that come here to meet him. Right now I'm sitting in my car, and in my car is Father Maurice Chase, and I'm here today to talk to him about what he's doing down here on this Easter Sunday and what he does down here on Skid Row every every Sunday for the last 24 years. Is yes, that right? Exactly. I come down here to let people know that God loves them and I love them. That's the essence of it. You know, I didn't never became a Catholic priest to give out money. You know, anybody can give out money. I turned 90 just uh, on St. Patrick's Day. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, and I, I'm having the happiest part of my whole life working now on Skid Row. Now this morning I'm going to give out $20, $100 bills. Wow. And I've got uh, all the uh, $100 bills in my pocket now. Can we take a look? Can you, sure. Can you give us a sure. Sure. sure, sure, sure. I'll move the camera back here and uh, okay. take a look right there. Now here are... Here is a bunch. There's two thousand dollars in uh, this pocket. You see the hundred dollar bills? I do see them. And I did, you just have to take my word. A lot of people that walk around, there is a police officer right there who, who is, I would assume, here to guard you, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, there, I was going to say there are not a lot of people other than the Brinks security truck to walk around with that much cash, right? That's exactly right. I had a woman just a few minutes ago. Oh my God, she was on drugs, she had to be. She was yelling and screaming and uh, using foul language. Right. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. I mean, Skid Row is not a place known for its tranquility. This, the people that come down to Skid Row um, are, have fallen on hard times. A lot of them have been here for quite some time. Some of them are new to Skid Row. How do you how do you keep safe and have you ever had any run-ins with Oh problems I have. Like I had a man punch me in the stomach one time and almost knocked me over. Huh. Uh, he saw me giving more money to somebody else and giving him less. And he just came away and punched me in the stomach and he ran down the street right down there to get to escape me. And then for some reason he came back and the police were here when he came back. I don't know why he came back. He came back and the police caught, caught him, took him off to jail, and found out that uh, he, he was a former uh, criminal and put him uh, in, in prison for eight years. And they wanted me to, uh, to pr prosecute him. No, I said, I don't have anything to do with him. How much money do you figure you've given away over the years? Oh, I've given at least, uh, at least over $100,000 every year. Wow. That's a lot of money. What do you make of people that 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 are, are critical of the amount of money you've given away and say that hundred thousand would be better towards some sort of oh, program yeah. down oh, here? Oh, I've Skid heard Row. that. I've heard that. You know, you gotta teach them how to fish and don't get, instead of giving them a fish, uh, teach them how to fish. You see, that's what the rich people tell me. And what's your response to that? My response is, that, you know, that I am doing something that I think is worthwhile, and I don't care what you how you feel about it. Right. I found more and more people who I meet in every Vons market, uh, every post office, they pat, pat me on the back and say, you're doing a wonderful job. So they're out really outnumbered by a thousand to one. That's the truth. So, you know, there's greater joy in giving than receiving. That's a pretty powerful statement, I think. There's greater joy in giving than receiving. And I'm just giving, 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 and uh, I'm not bragging about it. I'm just telling you what makes me happier than any priest in the United States. <laughs> For NPR Weekend Soapbox on Skid Row in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Jacob Zoboroff. Talk to you guys later.